That's right. Although the boys had accepted each other as wolves and the girls accepted each other as butterflies, they still weren't getting along. It's too bad they couldn't see they had more in common than just competing in the challenges. But Grandma, did the, did the girls get revenge on the boys or not? <laughs> okay, Jamie, I'll go on with the story. It was the day after the incident with the birdcage and the ants. The butterflies were in the dining hall for cooking class. Come on, let's get some napkins for our cookies. Okay, Ruth, do you have some of that special ingredients we have to give to the wolves? Here they are, freshly dug out of the compost pile in back of the cabin. Worms! Oh, they're so gross. You chop them up so they'll blend into the pudding. I'll put some pudding into these purple cups. See, they're the only purple cups, so we won't get confused about which ones to give to Tucker and Brock. Good plan. This is so great. Wolves eat worms, don't they? So let's feed some to our wolves. Uh-oh. Isn't that the head counselor walking stick? What's she doing here? And why'd she bring those two with her? Sammy, Ruth, I'd like to have a word with you. Yes, yes walking stick? I understand there's an incident yesterday with your birdcage. Yes, yes walking, walking stick. And I understand that you two are plotting some sort of revenge. Uh, we told you it was an accident. Yeah, dudes. I can't be responsible for my feet do off the court. If you're not responsible for our smashed birdcage, then who is? Revenge is on purpose. Breaking your birdcage wasn't on purpose. That's what you say. I think you were just afraid to be beaten by girls. Yeah, because no. you knew your birdcage was That's so it. You know it's it. That's enough! It. I'm not going to listen to one more word out of any of you. There will be no revenge. But the but, boys are the ones... Nuh-uh. I don't want to hear it. And you're not off the hook for arguing or breaking their birdcage either. But it was not fault. I don't want to hear it from you two either. The wolves... And the butterflies are hereby sentenced to work together. What? what, dude? That's right. I said work together. I've decided that the four of you will compete together in a riddle walk. Riddle, riddle walk? walk? Dude. That's right. I said riddle walk. It's a special challenge just for occasions like this. The four of you will have to solve clues to get from checkpoint to checkpoint to complete the walk and return to camp. Unless you complete the walk together, neither the wolves nor the butterflies will win. Okay, should we do it? Should we try it? I think we yeah, should. Yeah, we should. Okay, we'll do it. Of course you will. You have no choice. Now scoot, all of you. Hey, it's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. One way or another, those kids are going to learn to get along. I'm just glad I found out about the revenge plot early enough to stop it. If I hadn't protected the boys from the girls' revenge, who knows how far it could have gone on. The riddle walk should be a good test of how they can work together. I'll be tagging along to make sure they're safe, but they won't know it. Ooh, pudding. Yum, nice and gooey, just the way I like it. She didn't know she was eating worms. Besides, it didn't kill her. I hope someone's around I can't to, to protect me from eating worms. I don't think that's something you'll have to worry about. Anytime you start to worry, remember that Jesus is always there to protect you, even when bad things happen. The Bible tells us in Isaiah 41, 13, I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. That's a good thing to remember. So what happened when the wolves and the butterflies went on the riddle walk? Help me clean up this mess and I'll tell you all about it. Okay, I don't think I can eat any more of that worm stuff anyway. <laughs> Ew! Yeah, it was gross. Let's take a look at our Bible verse today, which is Isaiah 41, 13. I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. What does the verse say to not be? 
Do not be a what? Afraid, right? And what does it say that God will do? He will do what? Protect you. That's right. So we have to remember that Jesus is always going to be there, right, for us. Now, are you guys going to come back tomorrow? Are you guys going to be ready to go on that riddle walk? Yeah, I got my backpack. I'm ready to go. Now, let's come back tomorrow to find out what Ruth will say. And she'll say, As the sun sets in the evening, this may be as big as a wild horse, but it weighs nothing. Hmm, it sounds like that's a clue for tomorrow. I guess we'll have to find out what that means. Okay, guys, have a great day and have lots of fun, all right? Bye-bye.